Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for mobile testing. So, let's get started. Question number one. What do you understand by MAT and MT in the context of mobile application and testing? The answer is. MAT expands to mobile application testing and MT expands to mobile testing. Both MAT and MT are different and refer to what is being tested. Mobile application testing is about testing an application on mobile devices whereas mobile testing is about testing native applications like media players, SMS, etc. Question number 2. How you will perform testing of software patches if the software is in production? The answer is. Any changes in the software are tested by conducting regression testing hence software patches need to undergo regression testing. But if time is short and patches need to be released early. We can conduct sanity tests on the software patches before being released. Question number 3, list the tests to be done on a general mobile application. The answer is, multiple tests need to be performed on the application as per the test requirements beginning with testing the installation, interrupting the installation, checking for network related application calls checking for version upgrades, navigation in the application the functionality of the application and compatibility with different phone hardware and mobile operating system versions. Question number 4, list the test frameworks which Appium supports. The answer is, Appium has no inbuilt support for any test framework but many test frameworks can easily integrate or be used with Appium like NUnit and .NET unit test framework. Test in Appium is interfacing with Appium using a specific driver. Question number 5, how to debug Appium? The answer is, Appium can be debugged like any other JavaScript application as Appium is a Node.js application written in JavaScript. Further being open source, its source code is accessible. Further like any JavaScript application, breakpoints can be attached for debugging. Question number 6, which programming languages is supported by Appium for developing test cases and interfacing with Appium? The answer is, Appium can be interfaced with by any programming language which supports HTTP requests and includes Java, JavaScript with Node.js, Python, Ruby, PHP, Perl, etc. Question number 7. How many machines are needed to run Appium and Appium servers? The answer is. Appium has a client-server architecture and both can install and function on the same machine. Hence. A single machine is needed to run Appium and Appium server though it is suggested that both be on different machines. Question number 8. Can JavaScript be used to interact with a mobile application under test in Appium? The answer is. Yes, JavaScript can interact with the mobile application under test in Appium as the Appium server will be sending the JavaScript code as an anonymous function for execution. Question number 9. Does Appium can test in a multi-threaded environment? The answer is. Yes, Appium can test in a multi-threaded environment. Multi-threading enables simultaneous execution of two or more parts of a program so that CPU is utilized to the maximum and every single such part is called a thread. Question number 10. Which element of a mobile application is needed to automate using Appium for testing? The answer is. The .apk file of a mobile application is needed to automate using Appium for testing and not the mobile application in my workspace for testing the mobile application under test. Question number 11. Describe Appium Inspector. The answer is. Appium Inspector is an application to run Appium tests without the need of Node or NPM as it is bundled in the Appium Inspector. Appium Inspector is a GUI test creation tool that can use record and playback for test creation as the Selenium IDE. Question number 12. Differentiate between simulator and emulator. The answer is. An emulator duplicates both the hardware and software features of the real physical device which is to be emulated. Whereas a simulator mimics the behavior and configurations of a real physical device by creating an environment for the same. Simulators do not mimic the hardware. Question number 13. What is meant by desired capabilities in Appium? The answer is. Desired capabilities refers to the combination of keys and values which are encoded in a JSON object. These desired capabilities are sent by the Appium clients to the Appium server for starting a new automation session with a specified configuration. Desired capabilities enlist specific details to the Appium drivers, especially how the test should work. Some capabilities instruct for change in the behavior of the server during automation. Question number 14. 
what is needed for inspecting elements of the native Android mobile application by Appium? The answer is. The UI Automator tool present in the Android SDK can be used to inspect elements of the native Android mobile application by Appium. The older version of Appium supported the UI Automator tool for automation. Question number 15. What is native mobile applications in Appium-based testing? The answer is. Native apps are mobile applications that are developed in the SDK or software development kit as provided by the mobile operating system. For Android, the Android SDK and for iOS, the iOS SDK, is used to develop the native mobile applications. They are more tightly integrated with the operating system with access to core libraries. They are specific to the mobile platform but execute fast. Question number 16. What do you understand by mobile web applications? The answer is. Mobile web applications are applications that use the mobile web browser for execution. As mobiles these days have a mobile web browser hence, these mobile applications are portable and will run from different web browsers like, for iOS, the Safari web browser, and for Android, the Chrome web browser. Question number 17. Explain hybrid mobile applications. The answer is. Hybrid mobile applications are mobile applications that install similar to a native mobile application as they are wrapped in the native mobile application. They execute in a mobile web browser. They are developed in HTML5. Though they are not fast the native mobile applications but are portable to different mobile operating systems. Question number 18. Describe the Appium client or server architecture. The answer is. Appium at its core is an HTTP server or web server which exposes a REST API. The server connects with the Appium client and listens to commands from the Appium client which are executed and the result is sent on HTTP to the client by the server. The architecture provides the benefit of developing the test code in any programming language having an HTTP client API. We can also use the Appium client libraries as well. The server can run on any machine but connect to the client with HTTP. Question number 19. Which API is used by Appium? The answer is. API expands to application programming interface, and it is the interface that enables Appium's client and server to talk to each other. The Appium server uses REST API for interacting with the client. Selenium API is used by Appium for test automation. Question number 20. What is Xcode in Appium? The answer is. Appium is an open source test automation framework for use with native, hybrid, and mobile web apps. It drives iOS and Android apps using the WebDriver protocol. On the other hand, Xcode is detailed as the complete toolset for building great apps. The Xcode IDE is at the center of the Apple development experience. Question number 21. Which API is used by Appium for communication on Apple iOS? The answer is. Appium uses the UI Automator Application Programming Interface, a PI, for communication on Apple iOS. To start a session using the UI automation driver we need to configure the platform name capability. Question number 22. Which framework is used by Appium for communication on Android? The answer is. Appium uses the UI Automator framework for communication on Android. The framework uses Google's UI Automator technology to launch automation sessions on a device. Question number 23. What is the use of Appium Inspector? The answer is. Appium Inspector plays an important role in the Appium mobile testing framework as it can be used to records and play native application behavior by inspecting DOM and generating the test scripts in any desired programming language. Question number 24. What is Appium Doctor? The answer is. Appium Doctor in Appium mobile testing framework is a very useful tool as provided by Appium. The Appium Doctor is a tool to verify the installation of the Appium mobile testing framework. Question number 25, why POM file is used in Appium mobile testing framework? The answer is, the POM file is used for configuring the project in Maven in Appium mobile testing framework. The POM file stores all requisite configurations for the purpose. Question number 26, what stores the unique device identifier in Appium? The answer is, the Appium mobile testing framework assigns a unique device identifier for the unique identification of the device. The UDID desired capability is used by the Appium mobile testing framework for storing the unique device identifier. Question number 27. How can you select the AVD to be launched in Appium GUI for Windows? The answer is. 
The Appium Mobile Testing Framework provides an Appium GUI for Windows for GUI-based interaction. The Android Settings menu in Appium GUI for Windows has the option for selecting the AVD to be launched. Question number 28. What stores the unique device identifier in Appium? The answer is. List all the critical desired capabilities required for Android to test native and hybrid mobile applications. The Appium Mobile Testing Framework provides the option of behavior configuration by desired capabilities. Desired capabilities that are needed for Android to test native and hybrid mobile applications include Application Path Package and Launch Activity Question number 29 Why should we use Appium for testing mobile applications? The answer is The Appium Mobile Testing Framework provides various advantages for testing mobile application which includes no requirement of application recompilation for different mobile operating system support of many popular programming languages and it uses existing automation API for testing. Question number 30, does the scripts are reusable in Appium Mobile Testing Framework? The answer is, yes, both the framework and the scripts are reusable in Appium Mobile Testing Framework as this facility provides automation and removal of repetitive work. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.